disclaimer, what you're about to see is this guy's reality of owning a car rental business. Not everybody's. I'm also gonna show you how to do this with party buses. I'm gonna show you how to do this with equipment rentals and real estate without owning any of the property. Okay, so as you can see right off the bat, <laughs> they're trying to show you the influencer lifestyle of owning a car rental business, but we're gonna get into the nitty gritty. Mentello. Okay, let's talk about the reality of car rental company. So from my nearly six years experience, I tell you this, if I would get that money back, what I invested, what my investors invested, what I would do, the, the mistake we done was uh, that we bought a lot, a lot of different type of cars. Okay, so I don't know if you understood what he said. It's a very thick accent. I don't know. Somewhere from the like Eastern Europe or somewhere that area over there, I believe. Okay, but uh, he's basically saying if he could go back, these are the mistakes that he would like correct and fix. So what I'm gathering is that he had a lot of different types of cars at the beginning. And what I recommend you guys to do is to start with the ones that are currently trending, but trending over an amount of time. For example, if you go to Google Trends right now and you search for exotic car rentals, you want to check the ones that's trending in the last 24 hours. Make sure it's congruent when you put it in there for the last week and make sure it's congruent growing when you put it in there for the last 90 days. Those are the ones that you want to start with if you're doing it on Turo or on your own website. Did, and did you know how popular they are? If, if I would have that money now again and start from zero, what I would do is buy Urus, Lamborghini Huracan Spider and Audi R8 Spider. This is Okay, so he's telling you about the ones that have longevity, okay? These are not the ones that are just trending right now. As you can see, he said, if you can go back to the beginning, he said he was doing this for six years, okay? That's why when you go to most of the top car rental companies, the exotic car rental companies, these ones that he just named are the ones that are on the homepage of the site. The top three luxury cars for them. And even if I would have more spare money, I would buy two Urus, three Urus, five Urus, even 10 Uruses. <laughs> this way I will save a lot of money for parts. Okay, so now check this out guys. Before we move on, what you need to know is um, to do it this way, guys, the reality of running a car rental business like this is you need to have a decent sized black book. You need some type of network of people that already have vehicles like this, but don't use them a lot. A lot of rich people have Lamborghinis uh, and all of these different cars just sitting in their driveways. They get driven around. So it's pretty much a liability. This is a way for them to actually get some money off of that and turn it into an asset. But if you don't have a network like that, then guys, check this out. What you can do is you can do this all virtually without purchasing any cars because most of you guys watching this don't have good credit and most of you don't have a good network as well. So you don't have to purchase any car if you do it virtually. We do this with through, uh, through uh, referrals. So you're gonna create a referral system. You're gonna rank and you're gonna refer the bookings to them and you're gonna split the commissions. Of course, when you rent the car, usually if the tire blows up, because we have so many different cars, we have all the time problems because the size of the tires are different, the brake pads are different, the, the oil filters are different. But if we would have three Uruses, three Huracans, three R8, we could order parts up front, let's say that. So what he's talking about is streamlining the process, guys. What you need to know is when you're starting a business, uh, everybody wants to have variety, okay? Uh, Baskin Robbins has 38 different flavors and all of that guys <clears throat> but there's a reason they're not as successful they're successful but they're not as big as uh say mcdonald's when mcdonald's first came out mcdonald's had steaks mashed potatoes all different types of stuff but what ray Kroc said was like yo what is your best selling items on the menu and then they said well the burgers the fries and you know pretty much like a soft drink and he said why do you think that is he said because it's faster to deliver that okay we have a better process of getting the burgers the fries and all of that done quicker and this is what this dude is talking about right here so what mcdonald's did is they 
uh, got rid of all of every other uh, food on the menu and everything. So this is basically what he's talking about, elimination. He wouldn't have all these different varieties of cars if he could start over. So take that down, take notes right now, and start with the main two or three cars that are in high demand. That way you can streamline the process. The most important parts like uh, brake pads, service kits, and tires, we could have it stock. But because we have 50 different cars, we cannot stock everything. It will be just too expensive and we would freeze too much money. So mm -hmm. if you have an open car rental company, luxury car rental company, go from these three, three cars, Urus, Huracan, and R8. And I'll tell you R8 why the most popular. Because it's the middle class, you can charge 800 per day. So it's still luxury car. People still love it. So Okay, so he's giving a game right here. No wonder I had a lot of views on this video. I like this. Even if you can't understand what he's saying, he has the, uh, <laughs> the captions on there, guys. So he's basically saying this is the middle car. You can charge as low as 800 bucks, but it's still enough money for you to have profit at the end of the day. The other uh, cars like the Lamborghini Huracan and the Spider and everything like that, guys, those are going to be closer to the two or, you know, it depends on where you are in the United States. But some of, some of the times it's like $2,000, $3,000 to book that out okay so he's pretty much giving you the game the people who wants huracan is still happy with the array and the people who wants let's say e53 mg they can adjust the budget to array and even if you want to start let's say from the middle class cars like uh, like a cheaper ones which cost around 50,000 40,000 i would recommend you buy mercedes a45 super popular car don't buy golf or because they destroy it i don't know i, I just have very bad experience with golfs bad client base on them they just literally destroy the car <laughs> well uh, i want to say just because he had that experience does not mean that you're going to have the exact same experience but i do <laughs> have a little bit of experience with this one right here as well so that's why i'm laughing because it's it's kind of ironic that he's talking about this one you don't need to buy a new one for car rental never buy new cars they they're gonna fuck it up anyway no sure. need new cars. for urus summertime in marbella you can charge 1400 euro per day hmm. car will work around 20 days so imagine the season is four months you can do your own calculation <laughs> It's V8 engine, convertible, car like this we rent for $650 a day, it brings good money for summer, but what I like about this car is it's super loud, super fast, and super angry on the road. The interior, the race seats and everything, it just looks very, very nice. And I'm all fresh. One thing I don't understand, whenever I drive the car, we never have problems with the alloy. I never scratch it, I never curb it, it's, I just never. But when you look at, at the car rental cars, look at, look at the alloy, look at the state of the so look at the damage that's happening, guys. And the problem with owning the actual car rental business, like physically and everything, he's going to have to like repair all of that. He's going to have to deal with anything that breaks down, anything that you know, like somebody have a problem with. Uh, if they have to tow the car, if somebody try to steal it, if somebody blow it up, if somebody leave the uh, uh, bodily discretions in it, and uh, I think I'm saying that word. Uh, <laughs> you guys get what I'm saying. If you own a physical, it's not as glamorous as it sounds. I know it got background music and all of that, guys, and it sounds cool and everything, but the best way to do this is to start your exotic car rental business online through referrals. That way you don't have to deal with any breakdowns, any theft, any uh, destruction, or anything like that, guys. Let me show you. So this right here is the copy and paste rental site right here that you will see in the first pinned comment. And what's going on, guys, is we have people in there making thousands in their first week usually the people that actually put in the action will experience some success within 24 to 48 hours we got the system down packed and we have a variety of different rental business models on the inside we have our top student coach Keith who hit 140k in less than 90 days and we are so good at this that if you don't hit your first 1 to 3k in the first 14 days using the same business model as Airbnb rentals Toro rentals DoorDash rentals and Uber 
Copy and Paste Rentals will pay you for every assignment successfully completed. That is the irresistible offer. And right now, before we go up, as you can see, times out, I need to change the price. It is only 97 bucks just to do this and you can make thousands the same way as these people right here. Same day results, same day results right here to the right. Then this is key testimonial. This is another 24 hour results right here. Then we have this person that's booked up for months ahead and this person is booked up for months ahead okay now let's come over here this is inside the actual course right here and uh, this is copy and paste rentals we have a private community as well as you can see our flagship uh, niche that we go after and we teach is party bus rentals no you do not have to own any party bus you do not have to drive any party bus everything is virtual there is literally no overhead except for maybe some automation software unless you want to do things manually so we got the party bus niche that's super simple to start getting conversions from. Then we have the flagship high ticket course right here, which is copy and paste yacht rental business right here. And we show you exactly how to make the partnerships with this and how to generate the bookings and everything like that. So that some of these people are booking out $18,000 yacht rentals for the weekend and things like that. Okay. Then we have the copy and paste vacation rentals course right here and we show you how to do rental arbitrage but we also show you how to drop service the real estate as well right there then last but not least we are some beast we have the copy and paste car rental business model similar to what we were just looking at a minute ago only this is all virtual online no overhead no hiring staff no experience needed none of that stuff you can literally start setting this up today and start getting conversions by the end of the day you can do that there is no cashing without action so you have to make a move first pin comment let's go